Greetings YouTube, Pixar Prime 10 here, and welcome back to another Hesh Truck Review. I bet some of you weren't expecting me to get this one out there this quickly, but I am really excited to talk about this toy. Starting off with the box, you can see on the side here we have the classic illustration of the Hesh Truck from its side profile. On top, we have the Hess logo as well as the title of the truck in big bold letters. Additionally, you can see the features of the truck listed along the bottom. On the front flap of the box, as always, we can see the front view of the truck, and vice versa, on the back flap of the box, we can see the back view of the truck. On the bottom of the box, we have some illustrations and descriptions actually showing how the truck works, as well as something that I've never seen on a Hess truck box before, an advertisement for something coming new, apparently in addition to the Hess truck tradition. I'm not really sure what this means. It could be anything. What do you think it is? Comment down below and let me know. But with all that out of the way, what do you say we get the main attraction out here and see if it really is better than ever? All right, guys, here we have the 2019 Hess Tow Truck Rescue Team out of its box. And I gotta say, this truck makes a very sharp first impression. The main truck itself has a very bold and beefy look to it, and I would go so far as to even say an angry look to it. It has a very sleek and compact profile, which leads to a strong looking set. Due to the truck needing to be low so that its tow hook could attach to other cars and vehicles, the body of the truck actually sits very low close to the ground. I actually think it's pretty cool and kind of gives it a more secure, safe look. Just as with all Hess trucks, this one is definitely not lacking in the department of details and chrome. There is chrome all over the truck. You can see it on the grill, the smokestacks, the foot plates. And it is beautiful. And of course, you can see the Hess logo all over the truck, whether it's painted on the sides or embossed in different parts of the chrome or plastic. Heck, even the tires say Hess on them and have an embossed H in the center. I specifically really love the look of the grill on this truck. Its shape does a really nice job of isolating the H that's embossed in the center. But the shape itself almost kind of looks like an H, but the way I see it, it kind of looks like bullhorns, which really well plays into the fact that I just think this truck looks really strong and powerful, just like a bull. And of course, on the back of the truck, we have the Hess 2019 plate. Now, longtime watchers of this channel might be familiar with the fact that I have wanted a tow truck from Hess for a long time. And to utilize this awesome feature, all you have to do is simply pop up the tow arm from the bed of the truck, push it up, and unfold the hook. I think the integration of this feature is just absolutely perfect. The way it very neatly folds up and goes inside the bed of the truck is slick, easy, and incredibly smart. I am, however, kind of disappointed that there isn't a spring-loaded mechanism to get the tow arm out of the bed. I would really love it if you could just push down on the arm and have it release up, but once you do get the arm out and extend it, it has three separate points of articulation, and well, you're ready to tow some other vehicles. Now with a lot of trucks, it's actually kind of hard to get them hooked on the tow hook itself, but Hess found a way around this, and there's a second tow feature to the truck. If you reach under the rear bumper of the truck, you can pull out a track in the shape of a T that you can rest the tires of other vehicles on. This is something that I would quantify as a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting it, but it's just an awesome and smart feature to have on the truck and just makes it that much better. Something I was expecting though is that on the back of the truck, there's a ramp that pulls out for the secondary vehicle to pull up onto the bed. At this point, these ramps are standard issue, but it always adds a level of play value to the trucks themselves. Speaking of secondary vehicles, I have very mixed opinions about the one that came with this truck. While it's super nicely detailed and slick looking, it really is just a smaller version of the main truck. And while we've seen this before with trucks like 2009, where it's literally just a smaller version of the truck, it would have been nice to have some variation going on in the set. And although it's small, the secondary vehicle is not lacking in the department of details, chrome, or Hess logos. Just like the big truck, this secondary vehicle also has a tow arm that unfolds from the back of the truck. And while it doesn't have quite the cool fold mechanism that the big truck does, it does extend in two separate sections and has two points of articulation. Unfortunately, it doesn't pivot as far up and down as I would like it to, but it does have a really cool hydraulic piece that gives it a nice attention to detail. The arm on the mini truck does lead me to a problem or a gripe that I have with the set, and it's an overall quality control issue. The two trucks have a bit of a light feeling to them, and there's a few parts of the trucks that have either broken easily or feel like they're going to break, but the level of quality for the truck does feel a little bit lower than what I'm used to. Up next is my favorite part of every Hess truck, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know the lights. If you flip over the main truck on the bottom, we have a switch that goes to two positions, an on position and a flasher's position. If you put the switch in its on position, we get the nice bright lights illuminating the truck from all sides. This will always be one of the coolest aspects of a Hess truck. It makes it come to life and it seems like this year the lights are brighter than ever. In fact, this is the first time 
I have ever hurt my eyes by looking directly into the headlights of a Hesh truck. And then of course, if you flip the switch to the flasher's position, we get the lights on the truck flashing, which is a very welcome addition considering this feature was eliminated in the 2018 truck. The miniature truck also comes with its own sets of lights matching the nice bright LED lights of the big truck with headlights, brake lights, and caution lights. And of course, the Hess 2019 tag is also illuminated. And when you get both these guys' lights on and put them side by side, they just look so incredibly awesome. If we look on the roof of the truck, there are four buttons that activate the sound effects that come with the truck. If we click the first button, we get an engine starting and an idling sound. If we click the second button, we get a truck horn. And if we click the third button, we get a backing up sound. What's really neat about that sound effect is when you activate it, only the taillights come on and they blink just as if the truck is backing up. Additionally, when you pull out the ramp for the secondary vehicle to pull into the bed, we also get a sound effect for that. And pressing the fourth button on the truck merely activates the flashers as if you turned on the switch underneath the truck. Overall, I would say that I am very content with the 2019 Hesh truck. While I would have preferred for the secondary vehicle to have been something a little bit more different from the main one, the two work together as a unit really well. The design of both trucks is really nice looking. They have a very strong and bold statement to them. Hess has really blown me away the past three years with one great truck after another. And considering I've been waiting years for a tow truck, I think Hess really knocked it out of the park this year. What do you guys think of the 2019 Hess truck? I can't recommend it enough. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. With that being said, I would like to thank you guys very much for watching and happy holidays from Pixar Prime 10.